for the food that endures to eternal life. It's only Jesus Christ who gives this food. The food for eternal life. God has placed the seal of approval on him. Believe in Jesus Christ. Do you want this food? which endures to eternal life your work is to believe Jesus Christ you are not yet born again you stand up and say my heart says yes to Jesus I'm going to accept to him as my Lord and my Savior Is the Lord. You look so beautiful. Clap hands for yourselves. Now that you have received Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, there are things that you need to know. And there are things that you need to do. You are a different person altogether. You are no longer the same as you came here. Everything has changed about you. Because you are from another kingdom. Now you are in another kingdom. So the two kingdoms do not share the same lifestyle. In the kingdom of God, we live the righteous life. You are like a sheep. Therefore you need a shepherd. No one. Can shepherd his own life. Therefore. It is necessary. That all of you. You must go to church. And it is not every church. Where you must go. You go to the church which speaks Jesus of the Bible to maintain your salvation. You must be able to read the Bible all the time. You must be dipped inside the water. You must die with Christ and resurrect with him. Because the Bible says they that believe and be baptized, they shall be saved. It's your time to start praying. You pray in the name of Jesus Christ and ask anything you want in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands. I say in the name of Jesus wherever you are praying in this name I send the power the power from the name of Jesus Christ to set you now also the sicknesses they cannot hide they cannot hide they cannot hide from Jesus My name is Maureen Mwai, village Kikwa Zane. Ikamalam Gu Maureen. Eh. Kikwa Gil Zane. She's from Zanin. Elin Pop. Okay, let us hear about the things which I'm seeing with my eyes. Okay. Eh, Loje Kikwa Kiti Tzuru Mwafasi. Upleoni Vyaka. Kikwa Kibari Nai Mwagbu Upleoni Vyaka. Kipile kitemile tukegi ama lobo. Kitaziwe kiven nangaka. 
uh, during her young days, she was told that she has to be initiated and become a witch doctor. She went to a false prophet. Is the false prophet who told you that? That you, you must be a witch doctor. Yes, so no. now today you want Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Noctula Ntimkulu from Gwazulu Natal Pongola. And there was this friend of mine. She told me that there was this man that can help me. And I went to this man. And he gave me this stuff. Apparently, sometimes at night, there was this man who used to come into my room every night. I would see him physically, not just spiritually, physically, but not his face. And then he told me that I should smear this on my body so that he wouldn't touch me. And drink this. But things actually became worse. And um, I need the help of God. Without Christ, there's nothing that I can do. Sometimes I'm sleeping and I can't even sleep. Greetings to you all. I have a problem of this man coming to me every time and I would find him on top of me not knowing how he came. That is why you're having those things on your hand. Yeah, but... And I was told that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a witch doctor, I'm a false prophet. But the man arrested by the power of the Lord send them on fire children of God in the Let name of Jesus know. so what is needed now you must separate yourself from all the tools of darkness kingdom those things which you are having in your hand they belong to the darkness kingdom if you want Jesus Christ you have to separate yourself from darkness things and accept the light Jimela, nani bitola ka ke neo le di ga kitlise ngwana ke na le problem. I greet you my name is Dineo I've brought my child. Ke na ke misa go kere ke a ro ba le bosiyo. My child does not sleep at night so I took her to a church. So ha ke misa go kere ke ba mpotsoro ke mo emebe. The people at church they told me that these were evil spirits. At night she always cries. So the child will receive prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. She's Melida and she's asking for prayers that she must stop at taking the snuff. You will receive prayer in Jesus' name. I greet you all. Her name is Nontla. Uh, in King Ayami, I call her in 2006. Her problem started in 2006. She was very sick. I became paralyzed from my my waist downwards. Wanga kona ge uksebenza ulhango tila kulanga puksuga langa e ukalunge pants. My legs and my hands were swollen. Isanda ne inya ozi vuvugile. Bangjela wuting petwa majozi. And they told her that the spirit of ancestors was upon her. At the age of 15, at the age of 15, she was initiated. So you have to choose between the ancestor spirits and Jesus Christ. I must give you freedom to choose. I choose Jesus Christ. Hello, my name is Nonke. I greet you all. I came here because I'm, I need help. Since I've been growing up in my life, my mother told me that I don't have a father. He had passed away. 
Now I'm 39 years old. And now I have found my father. Last year. When I found him. He did a cultural thing on me and put these beards on my head. I did not know that I had to come with them. And I was told that I have ancestors. Since I've been born, I've never worked. And the children at school are not doing well. They only get up to grade 10. And, they and the teachers are also surprised how come because during March and June they pass. I'm asking for help. So you have to choose between Jesus Christ and those Bengals of the ancestor spirits or the ancestor spirits. Eh? 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 Eh?